Now looking at energy resources is really important because it really determines the way that we live our lives. And there are three main things that we use the energy resources for. We've got things like heating our homes and offices and schools. We've got transport and also generating electricity in the first place. So first of all, when it comes to buildings, we want to make sure that things are as energy efficient as possible. So that means that if you're heating up a building, perhaps by burning some natural gas, if you have, for example, gas central heating, we're not just wasting the energy. So we do this by clever design, by having things like uh, double glazing on the windows, by having cavity wall insulation and loft insulation. There are also um, a lot of it's kind of things which are really uh, kind of topical at the moment about what we can do in terms of our transport. So not just taking less journeys, but having better fuel efficient vehicles. So it used to be that 20 years ago, you could only really buy cars and vehicles which were powered by diesel or just normal petrol. But now there's a big move to having electric vehicles. The thing is, or you don't really get anything for free. And although these might be electrical, electrically powered, you still have to plug them into recharge. One of the problems with that is that there aren't many charging points at the moment. It also takes a while to recharge. And also we've got to still generate that electricity somehow. And a lot of electricity is still generated in fossil fuel power stations. So although it might be an electric vehicle, we might still be burning coal in order to generate that electricity. And really generating our electricity is vitally important. It allows us to power industry, allows us to power our homes, our computers, our schools. So a lot of the time, what we're doing is we are burning something and the thing that we're burning, it might be coal, oil or gas. And then what we do is we burn it, we heat up water and the water uh, then once it's gained some energy in the kinetic store can then be used to drive turbines, which cause a generator to move around and generate electricity. And I've got a series of other videos looking at different ways that we can generate electricity, both with non-renewable fuels as well as with renewable resources.